Hi, and welcome to Certikit. If you've downloaded your ISO 27001 toolkit and you're thinking about where to go from here, this video gives you some hints and tips about how to approach your project to implement an Information Security Management System, or ISMS. Once you've defined your scope, probably the most important thing to have in place is management commitment, both in terms of the initial implementation, but also for the ongoing maintenance of your ISMS. To obtain the level of commitment required, you'll need to be able to tell management a few basic items of information, such as how long will it take to create an ISMS, how much will it cost, and who needs to be involved. As input to this discussion, it may be useful to conduct a gap assessment to understand what's already in place and what still needs to be done. The results of the gap assessment will help you to define your approach to the project and to create an initial project plan. The toolkit provides a Microsoft project and an equivalent Microsoft Excel version of a plan, which you may use as a starting point. You may also find it useful to set out how your project will be managed within a project initiation document, so that everyone has a common understanding of who's on the team, what will be delivered, and how progress will be reported, amongst other things. A common approach to implementing an ISMS is to consider it in two halves. The first is the creation of a management system, and the second is to put in place the applicable reference controls from Annex A of the standard, although there will be overlap between the two areas. The key aspects of the management system will be the definition of roles, responsibilities and authorities, setting of objectives, defining the information security policy, conducting a risk assessment and creating a treatment plan, completing your statement of applicability, performing a management review and ensuring internal audits are carried out. These are relatively non-technical tasks, which are often more about understanding how ISO management systems work than information security. But you will still need the technical input in parts such as the risk assessment and treatment plan. The implementation of the Annex A controls is a somewhat more technical exercise, although some of the controls involved are administrative or procedural in nature, and you'll need to define who the best people are to look at each of the control areas, such as human resources, access control, suppliers and compliance. Splitting up the controls and allocating them across appropriate teams is key to making progress and getting the Annex A controls in place. Tracking progress and reporting it may be achieved by reference to the gap assessment if you decide to carry one out, and we provide a template for a progress report. We suggest you use the certification readiness checklist to assess whether you're ready for a certification audit and have the main building blocks of an ISMS in place. Once you're at this point, certification is a two-stage process, and to meet your timescale objective, you may need to get an appointment in the calendar early on if your registered certification body gets booked up a long way in advance. That's it from us. Thanks for watching.